Hello and welcome to another DroidScript tutorial. Today I'm going to show you and introduce you to um, the text element controls and show you some of the things you can do with those. So I've just created a basic application and it already comes with um, a basic text element called create text and as you can see when we run it we get the uh, output and we've changed the text size to 32. Now there is another way of adding uh, using this instead of using create text we can change that to add text and you just need to then specify your layout um, object the layout control in this instance it's um, lay and then we don't need the, this one here and you can delete the whole line in one go on an app uh, Apple Mac by using a command D control so we do that straight away and there we um, there we go if we run that that's uh, another way of writing the same thing now let's format this um, a little bit so if we create a longer text so we just call it string let's make a longer string so another Wonderful day on planet Earth. Oop. That's it, can't spell. <laughs> right, so if we now put in the string, now if we see this, press run, there you are. So the string now, as you see, is way off the screen. Now there are a couple of things, or a couple of ways to change that. And one of the ways is to specify a um, specifying a width and a height. We can use um, an option called auto scale, and that will use the width as a, as a point of uh, reference to scale the size. And there we go. Uh, it all fits perfectly on there. Now that's great, but it doesn't conform to the sex the text size that we specified. We wanted it 32 and it's uh, shrunk it to fit on the line. So instead of using auto scale, you can use something called multi line and that just puts the uh, text onto multiple lines uh, when necessary. So if we run this, you should see it they are in a bigger format, uh, size 32. And what we can also do with that is uh, align it so we can text align to the left or to the right. So by default it will be centered because we've put here vertical center here and it goes off to the left or the right. So we'll go back to having a standard one. And what we can do now is change the color of the text. To do that we can just type in color and then you get a list of various options that are linked with color. So in this instance we want to change the text. So if we get to set text color and we can type in our font uh, color we want. You can either type in using basic color colors or you use a hex uh, decimal value and there we are now it's not very readable being blue so let's change our background color so this time we want a background so if you got there you set background color so if you type it you get all the help come in and again we want to change our color and again you just type in the color name or the user reference so this one we've got white so there we go blue on white what we can also do instead of just having a solid color you can use um, gradients so if I remove this line and we try another one so if we use back we see a gradient here and what that will need is two values white and say red 
Uh, if we run that, there we go. So we have a gradient now that goes there. There is also a radial gradient that um, does it starts from the center and goes out. The thing I want to show you is HTML formatting. And it is possible to put in some HTML text in your elements. To do this, let me just show, make the word wonderful and bold. So this is a simple HTML tag. And all we need to do is add another option here called HTML. And if we run this, you can now see the word wonderful is in bold. Um, what I will suggest to you to do is go to your samples section of DrawScript. And if you just type in here formatting or text text formatting, you'll see it at the top. And this sample here will show you all of the um, HTML tags that are supported. And if we if we run this, you can just see here what you can do. So in this one instance, and uh, they've changed the color and some of the font type as well. <laughs> and another uh, sample to have a look at is one called Font Awesome. Font Awesome allows you to add um, icons to your text um, elements. So if we just type Font Awesome or icon fonts, there you go, straight away. And you can do it by using this. So you can copy paste this text into your application. So again, you can use um, add text instead of create text and add it to the layout. But as you can see, that, that's how to add um, icons to your text elements. And if we run this, you can see, there you go, you've got the cogs here, which is what we've just seen. And there's in heart and pause and so forth. And that is how to add icons to text. And that is pretty much a basic introduction to um, text elements into DrawScript. Uh, use the samples as much as you can and the docs. They'll give you a lot more um, ideas and how to um, progress forward and extend the functionality of it. Mm -hmm.